What's up guys, John here. I'm Sharice. And we are back with another Cupid's Corner. Awesome, good information that you guys can utilize. Honestly, whatever doesn't break you will make you stronger. That is the truth. Every week, if you don't know, we come up with these tips and tricks to help you guys enhance your relationships. I hope they all see this episode. Whether it's reigniting that passion or just developing a better, stronger relationship. We went through a lot of these trials and tribulations, so we wanted to give you guys the shortcut. I mean, you guys might even do this and not realize it, and your partner might be currently upset at you, so we might help you in that aspect. This is true. <laughs> so, we're going to... What's up, guys? John here. I'm Sharice. And we're back with another Cupid's Corner. That's right. Another Sunday edition for you guys coming straight at you. ABC, 11 a.m. every Sunday. If you guys miss us, don't worry. We got your back. You can always check us out on YouTube and check out our social medias as well. Just look up Type Medical Center. So uh, this week, uh, going to get into something that we usually, I guess, never talk about. And uh, this is a tip trick and something that's going to help you out in life, hopefully. This is a recent thing that we, like, you know... I guess this is recent where we kind of discover like what it's mainstream, called. what it's, what it's called. called. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But we've been doing this for a long time, right? Most of us. And, and not saying it as the way that they say it today. But let's go over it. So we always get the question, what's the secret, right? What's the secret to your good relationship? What's the secret to success? What's the secret of life? And, uh, <laughs> you know, there's a lot of answers to that depending on who you are. Oh, that's funny. And, you know, for us, I, you know, I guess the secret, and there's a movie on this now, like a book, you know, all these different things is, uh, you know, it's basically putting the thoughts out there or asking um, and having something manifest in the way that you want it to, right? So when we talk about this, for example, it's, listen, I, I wish I had a Lamborghini. Mm -mm. I'm going to get a Lamborghini. I'm going to get a Lamborghini. I'm telling myself every day. I visualize it. I see it. I put myself in it. And boom, it's given to me. It's out there. It's, it's right? Somebody just shows up one day and drops it off at your house. <laughs> <laughs> well, they actually did. So. <laughs> well, it, yeah, it, right? actually. That really did so happen. It right? did. It okay, manifested okay. into it. And that's yeah. exactly what happened. Uh, what she said. However. And that okay. can happen to you. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, oh, I know. I always got to rain on this parade. I'm sorry. But, you know, on the flip side of this, before we get into the juicy details of all this positivity, yeah. right? Yeah. We got to tell you guys the yeah. other side, right? On the negative Nancy side. So that's fine. But, you know, when, when it comes to this manifestation, right? There's only so much you can truly manifest, right? You can't, let's go back to the relationship portion of this, right? Mm -hmm. You cannot manifest to have this amazing relationship. However, you'll never listen to your significant other and think that you're going to have this great relationship and you're going to wake up every day and say, oh, we're going to have the best relationship ever. And, you know, you don't listen to the problems. Mm -hmm. You're not, you're not, you know, it's you're not doing your part to get the manifestation going, mm -hmm. you know? So things don't just happen either, you know? You, but you want, you know, you That's wanna, up for debate. You, you, listen, you don't want to just let things, you know, put bad things out in the air. Because, I mean, I'll give you an example, right? Let's say you, let's just use a very general example. Let's just say that you lie to your boss, right? Yep. And you tell your boss your kid's sick. Yep. And you can't make it in that day because your kid's sick, right? But you lied, okay? Um, kid's fine. But... You know, you go to the water park, you have a great old time with your boyfriend or whatever it is you're doing. And, uh, you know, a week later, all of a sudden, your kid is sick. Yeah. So you manifested it. Yeah. That's yeah. right. Yeah. So there's a negative portion of this manifestation, too. You know, waking up in a bad mood or whatever it might so, be. Yeah, so and then there's the positive side. Well, there's a beliefs of laws of attraction that these things can change your life, right? So, mm -hmm. you know, you put out there positive thoughts every day i'm gonna accomplish this i'm going to do it i'm going to fall through whatever it is and if you keep telling yourself this you and you keep on track of what you're doing you're going to accomplish it right um and that goes for negative thoughts as well if you keep thinking negative thoughts you keep putting out negative thoughts you keep saying negative thoughts it's probably going to come back to you right and it's um, like comes back around it's it, really weird. it really is and that's that's what it is i mean and this manifesting or this asking, right, has been done for hundreds, if not thousands, of years. And what I do is I call it praying. 
So every yeah. day I pray to God and I ask for these different things for, you know, for my family to be healthy, for my business to be successful. I talk about all the different things that I'm grateful for. Um, you know, letting me be a better person. Let me make the right decisions. Letting my son be a better man than me. You know, these are just some of the things that I ask for daily. It doesn't matter. Every day I do this. And, you know, I, obviously, you know, I've been doing this my whole life. And good things have normally generally happened. And I've definitely had those those negative thoughts and, and said negative things. And negative things have happened. So it's really weird how this works. <laughs> so, you know, I, I tried We to saw this documentary. Seen the documentary. And, and it know, was like, it whoa. You know, I, I guess it all kind of made sense yeah. at that point. I was yeah. like, I guess this is like a real thing. Yeah. So, I mean, it really is. And it, listen, to... to Teresa's point before, now listen, if you wake up every day and you tell yourself, I'm going to have a great relationship, and then you tell yourself, I'm going to do this, this, and this, and then you fall through with it, then you're going to have a better relationship. Mm -hmm. So there are things that you can do to make these things come to you faster. Um, that's by being proactive, right? Mm -hmm. You can't just sit back and Well, think, that was my point. You know, yeah, like that's like you waking up yeah. every day saying that you want this Lamborghini, right? right? But I'm going to sit here on this couch and watch a few, you know, TV yeah. shows. Yeah. And, you know, maybe I'll take a shower around three <laughs> and then figure out what I'm going to do with the rest of my day. Yeah. I don't know if that Lamborghini is going to show up. Yeah. You know, because you're not doing the things you should be doing to get where you need to be. It's so, true. you know, it's not, things don't just happen either. You know, you're going you're gonna to need to want it. Right. I'm just talking to Peter about this last night, but you need if you want it, go get it, and you need to try for it. Right. You know, you're gonna have to reach for it, and if you do reach for it, you try for it. Usually, you'll get it. But you definitely should be asking for these things daily of what you want. Positive things. Talking about how grateful you are for the things that you already have, um, and then moving from there. Right. I mean, this is the secret. So if anybody asks you like what the secret is, <laughs> this is the secret. Like, you know, always being positive. You said like, listen, I can't do this. You keep telling me I can't do this. You're probably not going to do it because you're not going to give yourself effort. And in your mind, you've already failed. You cannot think like that. You can't live life like that. That's just not the way to do it. I'm telling you. And if you do, you're going to be really negative your whole life. Negative Nancy, right? You don't want to be that person. You know what? Don't really tell him and he's you know, listening, but John is my secret. <laughs> <laughs> He's made me a better person. Aww. Yeah, really. Thank you. I appreciate when I that. when I first met John, you know, I can't say I was the most positive positive person. To this day, I still can't say I'm the most positive person. However, when I do become negative Nancy or I start seeing negative things, he's usually the one to be the one to be like, "Hey, look at it this way." Yeah. Or, "Hey, why don't you do it this way?" Or, "Hey, let's think about it like this." You know, so there's different spins that you can kind of, you know, maybe you could be your significant other's secret. You guys should be both each other's secret. That's how it should be. Eh. Uh, it is what it is. I'm a secret just in different ways. Everybody has bad days, <laughs> and that's how you guys got to balance off each other. This yeah. is another thing, right? If your partner's feeling down. Don't have two bad days. There's, a, there's bad things going on, whatever it is. You need to support them, lift them up. Um, that's, that's just another part of it. But, you know, like I said, there's different things you could call it as far as that goes. Manifesting, praying. Uh, but law of attraction is out there. That's real. It really is. And that's with people. That's with things. Um, so at that point, like, you know, I mean, I don't know. I've, I've had weird, weird circumstances in my life where, you know, I laser focus on things, said I was going to meet this person or do these things. And it's happened, right? And I kept telling myself, I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it. And put the, you know, put the footsteps forward to, to do it. Not just sit back, like Sharice is saying, like playing video games all day. And be like, yup, oh, I'm going to be a billionaire. Somebody's going to just sponsor me. <laughs> um, Amazon's going to hook me up. I'm going to have Twitch accounts. Oh, yeah, the like, Twitch. I was just going to say, it started with a T, but it wasn't TikTok. Yeah, so, yeah. you know, like I said, you just got to ask for these things uh, and want them and actually put the effort forth to get them. And that's with your relationship too. So with your relationship, because this is Cupid's Corner, you guys <laughs> should want to have a better relationship. And at that point, asking every day for your relationship to be better, right? Or thinking every day that yep. you do have a good relationship. Absolutely. Because you want to be grateful. You don't always want to just ask, right. right? You can't just always ask the no, world. No, you got to be grateful. Or you can't always just ask yeah. God or whoever, you know, whoever you believe in or whatever you believe in. You can't always just keep asking and asking and asking. You have, you, on the flip side, you need to be grateful Absolutely. for the things that you have and the things that you're blessed with, right? Absolutely. So you got to be grateful for those things too. 100%. You know? 100%. So, I mean, that's just another tip and trick for me and Sharice, right? Yeah, tip. Um, you know, with that, like, I uh, want to give a big shout out to Ed Bojacki out there. So Ed. we have a whole bunch of people that are always like DVR the shows, guys. So if you DVR the That's show, so you watch cool. the show live, thank you guys for your support. We love you guys. Yeah, and thank cool. you for letting us know. So Ed Bojacki, owner of Gold's Gym, 
Pinellas and Tampa. Big shout out to him. He watches our show every week. I know he gets these awesome love tips. I know he has to incorporate with his yeah, girl. Yeah, I know you're so, incorporating. Big shout out. And uh, <laughs> you know, he brought me these uh, these awesome quick bars. Yeah, John likes them actually. I actually like these. I really don't like these protein bars and too much sugar and all that, but they're actually pretty good. So big shout out to Ebo Jack. We appreciate <laughs> you. Keep his corner shout out. But uh, you know, so every week we're gonna bring you guys these tips and tricks. But Learn about the secret if you don't know about it. Yeah, like Google it or watch the documentary. I mean, I don't simple. really care for books, just yeah. me personally. So the documentary worked out great for me. Yeah. But it was good. I mean, it's just it kind of gave me a different look on things. But like I said, my little twist on it, because I do believe I manifest things without even trying to manifest Absolutely. it. I'm not realizing manifesting. Yeah. Um, but even thoughts, even thoughts, yeah, even thoughts. You don't want those negative thoughts out there. You don't realize you're doing it right. But you know, after watching it, I think that, you know, half of me is like, okay, yeah, I do believe in the law of attraction. And then the other half is like, well, things don't just come to you. Yeah. I believe in God. Yeah. So at that point he does all his, he has a plan. Uh, and I'm just following it. That's what it is. Yeah. So, uh, I'm in it forever. you guys find your own <laughs> secret, manifest good, positive energy, and hopefully great things will come to you in all Aww. walks of life. <laughs> so, there's been another Cupid's Corner with me, my beautiful wife, Sharice. So, we'll see you guys next Sunday, 11 a.m. And remember, guys, check out our YouTube, Type Medical Center. Just check that out. Type it in there. Subscribe. Hit the all notification bell so you guys can get all the great content like this and much, much more. And our Facebook, right, Twitter, TikTok, and Instagram. Just search up Titan Medical Center, and you'll find all kinds of cool, crazy stuff. We love you guys. We'll see you guys next Sunday for another Cupid's Corner, 11 a.m. See you then. Thank you. Bye.